So I was asked to balance this equation here. We have calcium bicarbonate and uh, calcium hydroxide. We get this calcium carbonate in, in water. So CaHCO32 plus CaOH2. The key thing really here is first to count everything up accurately. So let's do that. We have one plus one. We have two calcium atoms. Hydrogens, we have one times two. So there's two there plus the one times two, two there. So we have four of those. Carbons, two times one. We have two of those. Then oxygens, two times three is six plus the two times the one. That gives us two. So we have eight. It's got to be real careful here counting things up. A little easier on this side of the reaction. Calcium one, hydrogens two carbons one, and then oxygens three plus one. That'll give us four of those. I like to leave the hydrogens and uh, oxygens till last. Let's just balance the calciums. Put a two right here. One times two. That gives us two of those. Um, carbons one times two. Get two of those. Now the carbons are balanced and the calciums are balanced. Kind of nice. Let's update the oxygens. So we have the three times the two, we have six plus just this one here in water. Now we have seven. Let's not mess with this. Let's fix the hydrogens because we have four here and two here. All we need to do is put a two as our coefficient, two times two, that equals four. And now we still have two times three is the six, but two times one, that's two. And six plus two is eight, and we are done. This equation, it's balanced. So make sure you count things up accurately and you'll be good. This is Dr. B balancing the equation CaHCO32 plus CaOH2. That gives us our CaCO3 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.